Wait a second. Is that a cop? That's an undercover cop. That's weird. You know what I just forgot? What? Chairs, we completely forgot. Guys, guys, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Don't tell them we're doing this. Oh, this is awesome. This is so fun. Can you guess what I'm drawing? A goldfish. Yeah, I am. John, what are you drawing? Uh, a cat. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh, it looks like your pet cat. Oh, yeah, yeah this is so cool. Shh, Sharers, don't tell anyone that we're doing this. Definitely don't try us at home. Is mom home? Oh, no, she's not home. This is absolutely crazy. It actually looks really walls. good. We're graffitiing the walls. Oh my goodness, let me try real quick. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add to Grace's. Hey, Eye right, right there, right? mouth right there, fill in the fish like this. Oh yeah, it looks good. Oh yeah, there we go. Boom, goldfish. Look, I'll add some water. Perfect, add some water. Oh, there we go. We got water, now it's swimming. This is so yeah. cool. Looks like the koi fish in the pond. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, but sure, I'm just kidding. Grace, John, and I are actually just spray painting the walls because if you didn't see in my last vlog, the animal control was here filling in this giant hole that the palm monster created with this concrete repellent stuff and it's finally dry so we are literally stuck inside this area and uh yeah, we look, figured we can't even look over it yeah it's so tall i mean look at this if you can make your way out look what you see on the other side nothing but the pond all the way down there yeah but look look this way steven there's like a hole like for like a pool we could do a pool right oh there. wow that's so crazy yeah, there's a lot going on down here. But now that animal control got in here, we're going to end up actually filling all this stuff in with dirt. So that's why we're able to color the walls inside here. So we decided to get a little bit creative. John drew a cat. Yep, and it has a mohawk. Oh, a cat with a mohawk. Yeah, and it's my little goldfish swimming. But let me show you the rest of this. First, you gotta find your way out. You gotta literally climb through the mountain here, up here like this. And then you have to be super careful getting out because Oh my goodness, this is so hard. Whoa, just like this, and you come out. All right, gotta make your way out super careful. How do this, you do that? I know, it's absolutely crazy. Whoa. But check it out, Sharers. This is what it looks like. You saw what it looked like in last vlog all wet repellent stuff, but now the concrete repellent dried, and we have all these giant channels because this is where the palm monsters were digging. One main tunnel there, one main tunnel there. And then they filled in the rest here. These were the pond monster cages here, completely filled in, completely dry. Although we still have animal footprints here, so I'm not sure what that is about. That's kind of suspicious. Yeah, I thought it was Cooper, but then I checked his paws and they're dry. So I don't know what type of animal that was. I don't know what that means, if the animal left or not, but there's no chance of the animal coming back once they fill this in with dirt. It'll be completely barricaded down however long that is, 15, 20, 35 feet or something like that. And then look, it goes all the way over here too. It's like a clubhouse kind of. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. There is so much going on here. We just gotta wait for the animal control to come back, fill it all in, and then I'm super excited to see what all this is gonna look like. What? I thought I saw something. Where? Down there. Where? ATV is in the bush. Do you see something, John? Ooh, yes, what? I see something. Where? 11 o'clock. <gasps> Three things. Oh, that's just deer, Grace. It is? Yeah, that's just deer. Oh. You see that? Uh, that's just deer. Oh, baby deer down by the pond. Deer. The baby deer, that's kind of cool. Yeah. They're all babies. Wow, that's unique. I haven't seen baby deer for a long time. Yeah. And sure, as you know, John and I got back from Monterey where we got a water sample of the ocean there which no longer has pond monsters on the west coast. So we brought that back here. We've been testing it in our lab inside and then we're going to end up actually sending it back to the lifeguards back in Avalon. So uh, let's go inside, see how that water sample's going. Yeah, yeah. let's check it out. Okay, we are in the merch lab. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, so check this out. We have been testing that water sample that John and I got, and uh, we're learning some information about it. Oh, by the way, Sharers, check this out. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm so talking clean. about. It's How so cool, cool is that? Really spicing up the merch store. By the way, Sharers, if you haven't already, make sure to head over to stevenshare.com and get your awesome Share the Love merch. That's oh, what I'm yeah. talking about. John, what's your favorite merch? My favorite is the Sharagini merch right here, and we've got even more over there. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Okay, going down. Oh, how do you do that? Oh, there we go. Well, I'm taller than you, so you can't go down too much. Oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's put these goggles on. So Sherry, you saw that when we picked up the water sample in California, it was clear, but it had some water particles in it. 
And John, what were you saying about that again? Yeah, the water was super cloudy because there's a lot of turbidity in it, but it looks like it might have reacted or something since we got back. Wait, guys, I thought when you got back it was clear. It was clear, but I was told to put in the solution and when oh. it reacts, it makes, um, well, if it's red, I think that means that it's actually pH balanced. Oh. So it's actually good. The West Coast ocean water was good, so that's awesome. Now we just need to take this, cap it up in one of these vials so we can send off to the lifeguards back in Avalon. But now let's take a vial, Grace. Okay, here's a clear one. Pop it off. Pop what we're going off. to do is fill this up. Okay. The water sample. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, careful. Just like that. Okay. And we can send that off to the lifeguards back in Avalon. Okay. And they can compare the West Coast water to the East Coast water. And you know what I'm thinking? Since we're back at home, let's also get a water sample of the pond. That's a good idea. We should so check So we gotta head water. down to the pond, grab a water sample of the pond. So we can fill it up with one of these. And then they can compare the West Coast to the East Coast ocean to the pond water and see what the difference is, why the pond monsters were able to spawn here in fresh water. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they can do that because the other ones are salt water. And they're supposedly descendants of horseshoe crabs, which horseshoe crabs are in salt water, but we have fresh water here. Yeah, that's why I'm saying let's go down to the pond and let's figure this out. <laughs> oh, look, there's the deer. Oh, baby there deer. That's so cool. I haven't seen baby deer for so long. Whew, and it has been a while since we've been down at the pond. Wow, well, I don't think we've been swimming since like the 4th of July party we had. Yeah, now it's starting to get cold, so we won't be able to anytime soon. Well, we can still well, go in. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's so tempting. The water trampoline, the water slide, everything. Yeah, should we take a swim? I think we should. John, you want to go in? I'm going to put a wetsuit on if I'm going in. It is not that cold. Wait, what's that? What? Is that uh, like a... Oh. Hold on, what is this? It looks like a crab. Wait, this could be a water sample. What is this thing? Look at this. Wait, like, Whoa, look at that. It looks like the kelp that we saw on the beach. You Wait, think? Wait, is it an animal or? Wait, Wait let's, plant. let's take a sample of this just in case. Wait, okay. this looks like a mouth. No, it's a plant, John. It's yeah. definitely a plant. Okay. Don't you think, Grace? I don't know. It looks like it also has fur and maybe legs on the bottom. Here, stick that in your lab coat. Let's leave that as a sample. Okay, kind of looks like a spider or something. You think? I'm not but, sure, I'll put it right there though. All right, let me just get a water sample real quick so we can compare the water. So the water kind of looks green right now. Let's see what it looks like in the tube. You think it's gonna be green or blue? Or clear. Oh, oh wait, what? That's completely weird. Completely clear. Look at that. How does that happen? I don't know. Look at that, completely clear water. It looks clearer than the ocean water. It does. I think that's a good thing. That means we're clean. Well, let me dump a little bit out. It's a little full. All right, I think this is good. This looks super clear. I don't yeah. see anything in it. Take a look at this. Do you see anything, John? No, it looks 100% clear. It looks so clear, that's so weird. Well, we got the water sample, let's head back up. Yeah, we let's found this it. little send this off. Too. Oh yeah, and we can send that off too, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, we got some good samples. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen that plant down here for ever, yeah. I don't think. It has like little bubbles inside of the plant. Cherries, if you know what that is, comment down below. Hey guys, wait up for me, I'm not that fast. Hurry. So check it out, we got the West Coast water sample, we got the pond water sample that looks completely clean. Let me put it under the microscope real quick. Yeah, do you see any particles? Um, not any real particles. The water in the pond actually looks like crystal clear. I think that might be a good thing. Yeah, all right, you got an address to send to the lifeguards? Yep, just filling out the water form, sending it to Avalon. Let's see. Oh, it says it should arrive in three days. Okay, you gotta put it in this special bubble wrap so it doesn't break. Okay. Two go in there, seal that up, stick it in this envelope okay. to the Avalon Beach Patrol. Then all we gotta do is stick it in the mailbox. Oh wait, don't forget our little friend. We gotta send this thing oh, off. Oh, yeah, put the plant in here too. I think a plant animal, who knows what it is. Put it in there. Okay. Oh, mailman. <laughs> yes, this is perfect. Oh, yeah. All right, this is awesome. I wonder if we're getting any mail today. Oh, let's see. Maybe some fan mail. Hello. Awesome. We can take the mail. <laughs> And this is for you. Oh, there he goes, he's off. Sweet! All right, this is perfect. <gasps> Wait a second. Is that a cop? That's an undercover cop. That's weird. You know what I just forgot? What? Shares, we completely forgot. Since we got back from the beach, we forgot to unpack the Sharagini. And you know what's inside the Sharagini? What's inside? A million dollars. Oh. We gotta go unpack that real quick. Quick, let's go back to the house. Yeah, sure, I totally forgot. Since we got back from the beach, we forgot to unload the Sharagini. And inside the Sharagini is... Oh, yes, in there? A bunch of towels from the beach. But under the towels is hiding 
the master lock safe box and inside is the one million dollars that we actually ended up losing the key for. Yes, and locked. that's why Chase and I weren't able to buy those three McLarens yeah. that we really wanted to buy. Yeah, we need to figure out how to break open that box. Well, luckily, Steven, I was reading the comments and they said it was in the merch room, so here we go. Oh, we got oh, the keys. Ready? There's the keys. Those oh, are definitely the keys. Cooper wants the keys. Cooper? Cooper, where'd you, you want to open from? the box? Hey. All right, let's make sure all the money's there real quick. We don't know why that cop was in the neighborhood, but it could be after the money. I have no idea. Yeah, or maybe they got reports that someone was trying to take the money. So oh. Open it up, make sure it's all still there. This safe box traveled with us all the way back from Avalon in New Jersey, so it's like a four hour trip. So let's unlock it. Quick, Does John. It fit? Quick, um, unlock it. I'm trying. Maybe it's the wrong set of keys. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, we are good. We go. Oh, go. one million dollars. Oh yeah, I want this one. That right is here. what I'm talking about. Oh, this yeah. is perfect. I'll get that. No, John, not yet. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll have a chance to use it later. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We have a million dollars cash. You know what I'm thinking? So while we're waiting for the lab results to come back to figure out what is wrong with the pond and causing the pond monster to come out, let's do some challenges. Yeah. And the ultimate winner of the challenges will win one million dollars. So Trace, if you have any ideas on what challenges we should do, comment them down below. If we end up using your idea, we may just give you a shout out. Oh, so yeah. get ready. Until then, you know what to do. Stay, Stay awesome, awesome and, and share, share the, the love. love. Peace. Woo!